batteries have been moved to the other. <laughs> MGA, I'm so sorry, but thank you so much for sending me all this stuff for free. Hey guys, welcome back to my world where no matter how old you get, you never have to grow up. And I attempted to be a professional YouTuber today. I don't know what I was thinking, right? So I'm like, oh, I'm gonna like glue dot the LOL Littles from the remix, from the big super surprise onto their stages and they were falling over all over the place and it was just making me totally crazy. But for the moment, they are standing. I'd like to say a huge shout out to my son King for dressing the Littles for me. <laughs> It's gonna all start to fall apart now. <laughs> so before before this gets any more out of control, here, tilt your head forward, honey. That'll hope you stay up. Okay. So these are this is the opening act. So we have baddies. You got little baddie over here, and you've got metal babe, and then you've got fierce and goo goo queen. So this is what they look like. I'm going to attempt to move this whole thing closer to the camera. Holy crap, nobody fell over. It's a miracle. By the way, um, Batty has um, symbols and there is no way that I am trying to put these in her hands right now. So there's her symbols. <laughs> And you need to rotate your head a little bit so everybody can see you. So they are super cute. I don't collect the little LOLs anymore, but these are really adorable. Um, and it's really cute that they come with the set. And as I said, when I was opening the set live, and thank you to everybody who came to the live stream. Oh, I forgot to say, thank you so much to MGA for sending me uh, these LOL dolls and the LOL remix super surprise for free. That is awesome. Thank you so much. Um, I think, you know, this is just an awesome gift. And the fact that, you know, kids are going to get this as well as the big dolls and all of the instruments and a, a box that turns into a playset is just totally awesome. So now I'm going to move the littles. Oh, sure. Now you stand up just fine. When I was before, this is amazing. They were falling all over themselves. This one's got like 10 glue dots on her because she was just like a hot mess. Okay. Oh, there she goes. That one's down. All right. Now. Okay. So we need to talk. <laughs> oh, and by the way, this is the stage that is part of the playset. All right. Now, having, having thanked MGA profusely, as we go through the big dolls, and then I am actually going to open up at the end of this video, just so that you know, I am going to open up these little hair flip uh, chicas over here. Let's try to remember to do that, shall we? Let me just stick that over there so I don't forget. Okay, so here's the story. There were a few struggles and uh, perhaps a cuss word here and there as I was trying to dress the uh the the large lol omg dolls here so i just just want to be really um transparent and open about that and i want to say um to to parents and people aunts uncles cousins uh grandparents whoever's going to be with kids who are unboxing this and trying to dress the dolls that they might need a little help on the flip side my youtube friends that i reached out to to say hey did you have any trouble the ones who had kids their kids small fingers were much e had a much easier time dealing with some of these pieces so that could be part of the problem is that i just have big meaty hands but just you know wanted to be open and honest so the first two that we are going to take a look at is dun, 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 is bad girl ah, and metal chick here they are all dressed up and in their little dressing room regeneration pods <laughs> or whatever i don't have bad girls uh instrument on her just yet we're gonna do that in a second so let's start uh by looking at metal chick who is probably my favorite of the four for a number of reasons uh not the least of which being that metal chick 
<laughs> you know, like, <laughs> um, in case you don't know, like, like metal is my jam. So, um, hard rock, metal, hair metal, you know, so, I mean, she's just so, well, and also she looks like Draculaura, you know, I mean, there's such a Draculaura vibe here. So this is her with all of her stuff. So there's a few things that are just, to me, as I was like, just as I was opening them in and as I was dressing her, I got really excited about. Okay, so first of all, the guitar plays. And it's a badass looking guitar too, man. Um, Wait, where's your, where's your, where's the button? There's a switch back here. I'm trying to find the switch. Okay, here's the switch. All right. Okay. So the, the, the instruments play, which is really, really cool. So that, that's pretty awesome. Um, the easiest way to get it on and off of her is to use the little, um, a little loopy thing on the side here to uh because trying to get it over her head and her outfit is just it's just a problem right, i'm gonna take her off her stand come on let's go a little bit closer all right now i hate her glasses i just oops <laughs> you would think i did that on purpose but i really didn't i love the headband let's take a really good look at her face very, very cool. I'm wishing that the eye makeup was a little more something, but I don't know what I wish it was. It is very Gene Simmons-esque though. And of course I love the black lipstick. So this, this is where things started to fall apart for me um, with a lot of the dolls. And I think it's very ambitious. Um, so this, jacket her jacket is really really cool but it is really um because the poofy sleeves don't come off of the shirt that's underneath it it's really hard to get it on and to get it to look like like i don't know the poofy sleeves show through it you see you see the poofy sleeves so I'm kind of like wishing the poofy sleeves were removable and I might do a little clothing surgery for display purposes and remove the poofy sleeves. Um, loving the, the bodice is very cool. The frilly skirt is such an interesting touch to this outfit, but I think it, it just, it's just really cool. It's, it's really, really cool. And then of course the Draculaura-esque boots, I am loving. I love the hair. Love the hair, love the braids. She's definitely my fave. I need to do something with the little tendrils of hair, but she's definitely my fave. And this this headband, I need one in my size for Halloween. But, so she is definitely my fave. I love her instrument. I love the, and the only thing is that we, I need to work on the, the, the jacket like shrug thing. It just, it needs, it needs something. It needs help. Okay, next up is bad girl. And now this is where it gets also to be a little bit of a struggle. So first of all, so she's really cool. Okay, she's really cool. I love her outfit. I love the, the, the punk look about it. Um, the area that I had trouble with her was just that, and it could be, by the way, I just wanna, I just wanna say, first of all, I'm very grateful to MGA, so grateful to MGA, but it's also possible that these are early production versions of the dolls and that might be why there's like little um little like quality control issues along the way because sometimes uh we get the you know like not the full you know actual the way they're gonna go into retail but i also want you to know you see the, the little gold things on her jacket they keep falling off of her jacket so um i could glue them back on i guess but they're um you know they just need better glue i guess and maybe in the upcoming versions, the versions that are out on the shelves on uh, the 25th, we're getting so much closer, it's coming. So now I need to get 
her drum harness. Oops, I knocked off her glasses. These are her glasses. Let's ditch the glasses, shall we? Um, now I'm gonna get her drum harness on, which is, let's take her off this, get her drum harness on. So some of it is just like getting their clothing on over their other clothing is a little challenging. And again, like I said, it's possible that people with smaller fingers can do this. Oh, but I just lost another, I just lost another stud. I just lost another stud. Okay, so I got her drum thingy on and now I need to turn the drums on and then I need to snap this together. Eh. Wait, get your hands up here. I'm having challenges. So you're like, why didn't you do this before you started the video? Because I wanna show you what it's really like. So that if you're buying it, you will know. There we go. So it's pretty cool. It is pretty cool, not gonna lie. It looks pretty, pretty badass. It's pretty cool. Um, and uh, you just gotta sort of balance it right. It looks like there's something that's supposed to snap together, but yeah, I can't figure that part out. Um, so, you know, but the, they rest against her body and it all works out, so. Um, very, very cool. Uh, okay, let's put those in there. Let's take off her harness. Uh, and of course my neighbor has to be doing some sort of woodwork because it's Saturday and I film on Saturdays and they do woodwork on Saturdays. We need air conditioning. So let's take a closer look at her. Really, really cool makeup. I feel like I didn't find her earrings. Did I miss her earrings somewhere? Um, loving the lip. Here's her green biohazardy colored jacket. Um, it's really cool. It's vinyl. It's see-through. She's got this spiky collar. Now, she has this thing. Where's her thing? Where's her thing? Okay. So I think that this spiky rubber thing is supposed to be the thing that goes on her hair. Because in the picture, she's got a spiky rubber thing that goes on her hair. But this doesn't have any way to like close or snap. It's just open-ended and it's very stretchy. And so like I can put it in her hair like right now, you know, to show it to you. But then it's going to fall off. <laughs> so, um, but there's her spiky thing. Also, and so I haven't watched anybody else's video. Um, I watched... Uh, I watch toy daycares to understand how to do the box. But like, I don't know, like, is this supposed to go on her head? So I have this crown and I'm not sure where it goes. And I'm wondering if this is actually supposed to go on her, but it seems, I don't know. Is that, am I supposed to do that? I don't know. Don't know, but anyway. And then if so, what the heck is this? So somebody help me out. I love the rings. Let's say bad girl on them. I love the whole vinyl thing. I love the floofy leg warmers. Um, I love that she's got this little holster for her drumsticks. One of the straps broke on me. Someone suggested instead of trying to sew these little pieces on things that break that I try um, fabric glue. That was an awesome idea. Thank you. Digging her hair very much. Oh, there's something I forgot to show you on Metal Chick that I really, really love. Okay, you go hang out here for right now. Uh, Metal Chick's Nails. Sorry, there's my fingers. Metal Chick's Nails, it's, it's pink and black every other one. That is so cool, I love that. <laughs> I'm such a dork. All right, you're gonna go over there. Okay, next up we're going to do Ferocious. So we've got Ferocious and Fame Queen. Here we go. Let me not, I'm gonna probably drop a whole bunch of stuff trying to do this. Uh, all right, get back up there. Get on your stand, girl. Come on. Oh, yeah. This is a disaster. She's looking at her. She's like, what is wrong with me? You ruined our whole entrance. Ferocious and Fame Queen. So these two are really cool. I'm gonna start with Ferocious. Here we go. And you go lay down over here. Her hair is amazing. 
Her hair is totally amazing. They're definitely going with the Janet Jackson. This, this hairstyle is so Janet from the day. And um, her outfit is really cool. I love that this belt that she comes with that you put on her, it's one of her surprises that it's got this really, that it's got these chains. It's so cool. Um, she's got those, um, those things that I couldn't figure out on Kitty K and I can't tie the laces. I just, my fingers are too meaty and big to tie the laces back up into bows, but these are leather sort of, mm, they're not leg warmers. I don't know what you cool, call those. And she's got the cool Claudine approved shoes on. And then um, because of what she was wearing underneath, she's got one side is her, you know, uh, sort of cheater, pa cheater, cheetah pattern legging, and then her fishnets. And she's got really cool earrings. One side's a cuff, one side's more of a stud. One thing that, uh, that I, I experienced with her is she's supposed to have two epaulets. And one of, one of the epaulets fell off and I can't figure out, I guess I'll just have to maybe glue it or fabric glue it back on. Um, so there's supposed to be two of these, but um, she's really, really cool. She also has, and this is what's interesting about these two is I guess this is a gold glove or a metallic hand. Not really sure what's going on with their hands, but their hands were definitely different. And we're gonna see that in a second. So that's ferocious. Very cool, very Janet Jackson. Miss Jackson, if you nasty. Okay, so now the last one is Fame Queen. And I had the absolute hardest time dressing Fame Queen. So she looks like a hot mess. Um, and I, I'm sure other people did a better job than I did, but I struggled so much with this outfit. So she's got a skirt that is supposed to only like go on one side, but she's also got this um, metallic thing. I'm gonna take off her skirt so I can show you. Um, and I couldn't, fi oh, there goes her hand. I couldn't figure out if I was supposed to put this on over or under her, um, metallic bodice. When I put it underneath it, it doesn't lay right. When I try to put it on over it, the, uh, it doesn't go around the waist. So I can't get the Velcro to close. So that was a bit of a struggle for me. There's her glasses. We know I'm not a big fan of the glasses. Okay. Um, I absolutely love her face up. Love the makeup. Again, there's a big Kiss vibe. There's a big Ace Freely kind of vibe going on there with that. Um, it's really, really cool. The other thing that I'm, I'm not sure, I guess I'm supposed, so she comes with this metal piece right here that goes around her neck and it has this heart thing on it. And it's just really hard to kind of, you don't really see the shoulder pieces, which are really cool which are these kind of flared out shoulder pieces. And now this is probably because we're probably not supposed to put all of the clothes on them at the same time. I'm guessing. I'm guessing, you know, they can, you know, you wouldn't put all the clothes on them at the same time, is my thought. She's got really awesome pattern tights and I am pretty sure that I had flowered pattern fishnetty type tights in the in the 80s and then there's her really cool shoes so here's the the one problem that i ran into with her is that um when i tried to so i needed to put her in her jacket so she's got this one sort of robotic looking hand and when i tried to pull it out to to put her jacket on i ripped it off it accidentally um, and I checked with somebody else and they did the same thing. So don't try to pull this off like you would other LOL hands to try to dress the doll. Interestingly enough, because I'm stupid, I did it on the other side. It does say in the pro tips, when it comes to the OMG fashion dolls, it says, when removing the hands to dress the doll, don't pull from fingers, pinch the wrist joints and gently pull. 
clearly I did not do that. And so I messed up my doll. So that was my trauma. I was like freaking out because I ripped off her hands. And then I went online and I was like, what did I do wrong? And I found a, co a couple other people who ripped off her hands as well by accident. So don't try to pull off her hands in order to dress fame queen or you will have crying children on Christmas, okay? So, um, but these are the four, the fab four that make up the Super Sonics is the name of the band. Here we go. I love how the little ones are just the opening act. So these are the Super Sonics and then, ooh, and then uh, the little ones are the opening act. And these are really, 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 really cool. There's just so many nods to different genres and eras of music and it's really, really cool. Um, so thank you again, MGA, for sending these to me. These are on pre-order now and will be available in stores on September 25th. Although I do see some very lucky people um, uh, posting stuff on Instagram, etc., little baby, um, where they have found them in stores and were able to check out. So I'm just putting the littles back with their big sisters. Um, so I, I might display them that way. I'm not sure. I have, you know, it's just display is such such a trauma when you're when you're a doll collector figuring out how to display things. Now let's take a look at the last thing that I got from MGA as part of this amazing package is this little package of, of, of three things. And I think this is really cool because, because um, of the whole little record player thing. So we have, now I don't normally collect the, I, I stopped collecting the little LOLs because it's just, um, there, there's just too many of them. They come out too fast. I can't keep up with all the lines. It's a lot of plastic. Um, and as a doll collector, it's just not, I just, not my bag, you know? Okay, so we've got the um, remix. So we've got two of the remix hair flip dolls here and then we've got one of the remix pets so dressed for the concert so i guess we'll do the pet first and it says i'm in disguise i'm in disguise i forgot to look at how, how much these are so you will have to uh i'll put that over here um where did i put my scissors Here's my scissors, man. I am going to attempt to follow directions, but if there is any water involved, I'm not doing that today. So, um, it has an arrow over here. So I'm pulling on the arrow. Okay, I don't know what that just did. <laughs> I'm gonna mess this up so bad. Okay. Sorry, MGA. I am not the right person to open the little things. Okay, here we go. All right, so we have instructions. Oh, that's cool. Look at that. That's cool. All right, all right, I'm down for this. This is pretty cool packaging. Let's see what we got here. Let's see what we got here. We got instructions. Okay, so I am supposed to, uh, Whoa, I don't understand the instructions. See, I need written instructions. This is true because I don't, I, I, my visual learning skills suck. Um, but my verbal learning skills, especially if I read the instructions are much better. So I'm looking at these and I don't know what they mean. But then there's other people who are visual learners who will look at this and know exactly what to do. That's my husband and my son. Me, on the other hand, I need somebody to explain it to me. So I'm just, I'm thinking that comes off. Okay, that was right. Ooh, feel good. Okay, so does this open? Oh, this opens up like a cassette. Oh, that's pretty cool. I think that's where the little records are. Because there's somehow this plays something, I don't know. Okay. Oh, here's our pet. This is our little pet that we got. And then here's all the little accoutrements. This comes out uh, and becomes the handle. Okay, so this becomes the handle for my boom box. 
oh, okay. I understand that. I'm not, I'm not, okay, I understand that. That wasn't so hard for me to understand. Okay, all right, I think that goes like that. There you go. Okay, that was nowhere near as hard as I was making it out to be. Okay, frustration alert. Important note for parents and people who want these things to play music for the kids when the kids open them, or you know, for yourself. They don't come with batteries, and they need three AAA batteries. So I just ran around my house raiding, um, rating remote controls because I don't have any AAA batteries. <laughs> so have some AAA batteries on hand when your kid unboxes this because they're gonna wanna do the next piece of the puzzle, which is really cool. Now I have to remember which one I put the batteries in. But they come with <laughs> uh, a very cool little vinyl album. So Twisted Sis, very near and dear to my heart. Twisted Sister, the bad boys of rock and roll. Um, it's a band from Long Island. Uh, they had their, they had a little bit of a moment in the 80s. We're not gonna take it. No, we're not gonna take it. Um, but they had been around for a long time before that um, here in uh, on the East Coast scene. And then uh, we got, um, what what is your name? Oh, Bangle BB. So I guess that's a salute to the bangles. And so they each come with a little vinyl record. Now, I'm going to take them, and in the, there's little stands that go in the top of these so you can display them, which I think is really cool. I'm gonna take all the accessories and stuff. Um, there's uh, a sheet with some of the, the missing lyrics if you're trying to put all the lyrics together. And I think I did, I think I did this one. I think I put the batteries in this one. So this is Twisted Sis's record here. And I'm gonna put it on here. I hope this is the one that I put the batteries in. If not, we'll just switch it to the other one. I mean, it doesn't really matter. I'm gonna put that there. So you snap it over there. You take this and you put it over here. None of which really matters. And then you spin it around. And if it's the one with batteries in it, it plays a song. If it's the one without batteries in it, it doesn't. <laughs> Let's try this one. I think this is the one with the batteries in it. Here we go. Let's try that again. Oh, come on! Come on, man! All right, here we go. Okay, so here's the deal. The vinyl, the vinyl has this little piece that sticks down here and it needs to go across this little Thing that's sticking up right there because that's what triggers the music to play is that little thing so just got to be patient so you put it on and then we're gonna spin it around and that's gonna fall over and then we're gonna spin it around and there we go I did it so we spin it around Okay, so that is the piece of the song that Twisted Sis plays, and let's hear Bangle BB's piece of the song. And remember, on September 26th, we are going to get the full, we're gonna get an album, actually. Okay, let's go, here we go. Oh, duh. I just realized I can't do it that way. I have to put the batteries in the other box. All right, so now I need to move the batteries into the other box so that we can hear the other piece of the song. Because it doesn't, there's not actually anything on this. It's in, it's in the mechanism here. Be right back. Okay, batteries have been moved to the other. MGA, I'm so sorry, but thank you so much for sending me all this stuff for free. So let's do this. Let's put it. <laughs> Just go watch Toy Caboodle. <laughs> she did a much better job. Here we go. Yeah.
Okay. So that's Bangle BB's piece of the song. Okay. So that's that. But wait, there's more. Remember they're called hair flip dolls? There's more going on. That's the part that's just mind boggling to me. Okay. So yeah, this video could have been its own video, but it's just gonna be a really, really long video. Okay, so here we go. So here she is. Here's Twisted Sis, okay? So she's really, really cool. She's got this awesome, like, you know, sort of mohawky thing going on here, right? She's got really cool makeup. She's got her guitar. I'm gonna take her guitar off her. There you go. Right, she's totally ready to rock out. But it's called hair flip. Now I'm not gonna do anything with water, but it seems that you unbox their hair. There's more to their hair than meets the eye. So I can totally <laughs> change her style to be like, I guess, I don't know. I don't know if her hair goes straight. So, you know, I don't know. We'll watch somebody else do it. But, you know, I guess I could try to comb through her hair. Um, but yeah, she's got this whole other thing going on. These little red knots going on in her hair. Kind of cool. Kind of cool. So that's sort of the hair flip, I guess. All right. Now, this one, and she's the one they use in the example. Let me show you this. So, this is the hair flip for Bangle BB. Her hair looks like this, and it's gonna turn into that. I don't know. Let's see, so I guess we're supposed to uncoil all of this. Kind of like a fail fix type of deal. So, cause it's funny cause it says unbox their hair for surprises. And I was like, how do I unbox somebody's hair? But I guess you just sort of un, so I'm doing this, but wait, I know, I know where the surprise is because I found it by accident and that is how I went. Oh, there's more to these dolls than meets the eye. So this is kind of cool because for kids, there's, there's more to this, even with the littles, than meets the eye. As I am untwisting her twists, inside one of her twists, there's this little twisty of hair. Okay, for my, for my final act, in this <laughs> in this video that has been quite long and confusing for all of us i have attempted to hair flip uh her i uh brushed out her curls a little bit and there as you can see there's uh different colored hair in there and she's got this little underneath her little curly cue she's got this cute little knot and then she comes with um these elastics with bows in them now uh our friend here, um, Twisted Sis, comes with like guitar pick barrettes, and I'm still not sure. I'm still not sure what to do about her hair. So I'm gonna wait until somebody else gets her and watch a video. But the whole thing is pretty cool. And and thank you so much to MGA for sending me this set, um, the LOL Remix Hair Flip um, set, and 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 LOL Remix Pets. It's just it's really unique. Thank you again so much to MGA. Comment down below. Let me know what you think about this. Um, all of these, uh, all of these, all of these dolls and all of this cool stuff that's just, it's just, it's like this whole world that they've built around this remix concept. And I find that really fascinating. And I'm interested to see how it's going to play out um, in, in the world of, of, of 
kids who love dolls and and like you know if kids get into the whole mystery of trying to create the the you know find the lyrics and all that kind of stuff um and uh, don't forget that these are available in stores starting september 25th they are available for pre-order now and make sure you check out the lol youtube channel on september 26th there's going to be a special live stream and there's also going to be a remix album with multiple songs on it. So there's a lot of stuff going on with LOL Remix. Again, huge thank you to MGA for including me in this. I appreciate it so much that you sent me all this cool stuff for free. And thank you all for watching and putting up with me being like the least professional person on YouTube. And now I need to go rescue my batteries so that my remote control will work. <laughs> thank you for watching. I'll see you again real soon. 